Hi, welcome back. Over the next two lessons, we're gonna focus on the major muscles of the posterior of the leg. I hope you're enjoying the course and getting a lot out of it. If you have any questions, please shoot me an email, drop me a line, and I'll be happy to help. Bye for now. Posterior lower limb muscles, part one. Gluteus maximus. The origin of the gluteus maximus is the posterior ilium, sacrum, and coccyx. The insertion of the gluteus maximus is the iliotibial band, ITB, and gluteal tuberosity of the femur. The action of the gluteus maximus is to extend and lateral rotate the thigh. Gluteus maximus. Gluteus medius. The origin of the gluteus medius is the upper external surface of the ilium. The insertion of the gluteus medius is the superior aspect of the greater trochanter. The action of the gluteus medius is to abduct and medially rotate the thigh. Gluteus medius. Gluteus minimus. The origin of the gluteus minimus is the middle external surface of the ilium. The insertion of the gluteus minimus is the anterior aspect of the greater trochanter. The action of the gluteus minimus is to abduct and medially rotate the thigh. Gluteus minimus. Piriformis. The origin of the piriformis is the anterior sacrum. The insertion of the piriformis is the top of the greater trochanter. The action of the piriformis is to lateral rotate and abduct the thigh. Piriformis. Hamstrings. The hamstrings are made up of three muscles, the biceps femoris, the semitendinosus, and the semimembranosus. The origin of all three muscles is the ischial tuberosity. The insertion of the biceps femoris is the head of the fibula. The insertion of the semitendinosus is proximal anterior medial of the tibia. The insertion of the semimembranosus is the medial condyle of the tibia. The action of these muscles are to extend the thigh and flex the leg. Biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus are the hamstring muscles.
Posterior, Lower Limb Muscles, Part 2. Popliteus. The origin of the popliteus is the lateral condyle of the femur. The insertion of the popliteus is proximal the posterior tibia. The action of the popliteus is to flex and medially rotate the knee. Popliteus. The calf muscle, gastrocnemius. The origin of the gastrocnemius is the medial and lateral epicondyles of the femur. The insertion of the gastrocnemius is the calcaneus via the Achilles tendon. The action of the gastrocnemius is to flex the knee and plantar flex the foot. Gastrocnemius Soleus The origin of the soleus is superior posterior third of the tibia and fibula. The insertion of the soleus is the calcaneus via the Achilles tendon. The action of the soleus is to plantar flex the foot. Soleus. Tibialis posterior. The origin of the tibialis posterior is the posterior superior half of the tibia and fibula. The insertion of the tibialis posterior is medial tarsal bones and inferior 2, 3 and 4 metatarsals. The action of the tibialis posterior is to invert and plantar flex the foot. Tibialis posterior. 